Welcome to this online tutorial on Generative Adversarial Networks, GNs, an exciting and powerful deep learning framework that has revolutionized generative modeling and plays a crucial role in AI-generated content. Throughout this tutorial, we will understand how GNs work and the two competing networks involved. We will discuss the training process and the adversarial game between the generator and discriminator. We will also explore real-world applications, from image generation to AI-driven creativity. This tutorial is designed to be engaging and easy to follow, with clear explanations and real-world examples. Feel free to pause, rewind, and take notes as you go through the material. Let's dive in and start learning about one of the most exciting advancements in AI. GNs were introduced by Ian Goodfellow and his collaborators in 2014. It consists of two neural networks, the generator and the discriminator. The generator is responsible for creating synthetic data that mimics real data, while the discriminator is tasked with distinguishing between real data and fake data generated by the generator. These networks compete in a zero-sum game, meaning one network's success comes at the other's expense. This adversarial process enables the generator to gradually improve and produce highly realistic outputs. GNs are widely used in computer vision, AI-driven creativity, and data synthesis, making them a fundamental tool in modern deep learning research. To better understand how GNs work, let's use an analogy, a counterfeiter and a bank teller. The generator is like a counterfeiter trying to create fake currency that looks authentic. The discriminator is like a bank teller trained to detect counterfeit money from real bills. Initially, the counterfeiter produces poor quality fakes, but over time, they improve by studying real currency. Meanwhile, the bank teller also becomes more skilled at spotting fake money. This continuous competition between the counterfeiter and the bank teller leads to a system where the counterfeits become almost indistinguishable from real money. This analogy mirrors how GNs function, where the generator continuously learns to create better data while the discriminator learns to become more accurate. Now, let's look at the generator. The generator is a neural network designed to create synthetic data that looks like real data. The neural network takes a fixed length random noise vector as input and transforms it into a plausible sample. It learns to produce realistic output by continuously improving against the discriminator. The generated samples also serve as negative training examples for the discriminator, helping it distinguish real from fake data. Let's dive into the training process of the generator. The generator learns to create realistic samples through the loss function and backpropagation. First, a random input vector or a latent code is sampled from a Gaussian distribution. Secondly, the generator transforms this noise and creates a synthetic data sample. Thirdly, the discriminator evaluates the sample and predicts whether it is real or fake. Fourth, the generator loss is computed, measuring how well the generator deceived the discriminator. At the end, using backpropagation, the generator's weights are updated to improve its ability to fool the discriminator. Over multiple iterations, the generator refines its outputs, producing increasingly convincing fakes. The discriminator is a classifier trained to differentiate real data from fake data. During training, the discriminator learns from two sources. One is real data, authentic instances, such as images of birds, humans, or currency notes, which serve as positive examples. The other is fake data, artificial samples created by the generator, which act as negative examples. In the process of training the discriminator, the discriminator classifies both real data and fake data from the generator. The discriminator loss penalizes the discriminator for misclassifying a real data instance as fake or a fake data instance as real. The discriminator updates its weights through backpropagation from the discriminator loss through the discriminator network. GNs work through adversarial learning, where the generator and discriminator compete in a minimax game. The generator tries to create samples that fool the discriminator. The discriminator improves its classification ability to differentiate between real and fake. Both networks update their weights through backpropagation. This iterative process leads to the generator producing high-quality synthetic data, making GNs incredibly powerful. We begin by introducing some notation. Let's see represent a latent vector, x denote real data, g be the generator, and d be the discriminator. 
The networks play a two-player minimax game with the following objective function in which both G and D are trainable. In the loss function, D of X is the probability that the discriminator assigns real data to be real. D of G of Z is the probability that the discriminator assigns generated data to be real. The discriminator maximizes log of D of X to correctly classify real samples as real. The generator minimizes log of one minus D of G of Z, trying to fool the discriminator into classifying fake samples as real. GENs have diverse applications in multiple industries, including image generation, creating synthetic images that look real, image to image translation, transforming an image into a corresponding output image while preserving some structural information, super resolution, enhancing the resolution of low quality images, style transfer, creating an image that preserves the content of the original image while applying the visual style of another image. These applications showcase how GENs are shaping the future of AI powered content creation. We will talk about the basic idea of these applications below. GENs can be used to generate high quality images of people, animals, and objects. Advanced GN architectures include techniques that further improve the realism of generated images. For example, Progressive growing starts with low resolution images and gradually increases resolution during training, resulting in more stable and detailed outputs. Feature matching, in which, instead of fooling the discriminator outright, the generator matches feature statistics of real images. Style-based generation, which uses multi-scale latent representations to control different aspects of the image. The figure illustrates high quality synthetic images generated by GEN frameworks. Conditional generative adversarial networks extend the standard GN framework by conditioning both the generator and discriminator on additional information, such as class labels or input images. This allows the model to generate images that adhere to specific constraints, making CGANs particularly useful for image-to-image -image translation tasks, such as converting sketches to realistic images, grayscale to color, or daytime to nighttime scenes. The figure illustrates examples of image-to-image -image translation obtained by CGN frameworks. GENs have been widely used to enhance low-resolution images into high-resolution, detailed images, a process known as super-resolution. This approach, called super-resolution GN, was first introduced in the paper titled Photorealistic Single Image Super-Resolution using a generative adversarial network in CVPR 2017. GN-based super-resolution methods significantly outperform traditional interpolation-based upscaling by adding realistic high-frequency details to the enhanced image. GNs for super-resolution consist of two main components. The first is a generator, which takes a low-resolution image as input and generates a high-resolution image, and the other is a discriminator, which evaluates whether the generated high-resolution image looks real or fake by comparing it with the original high-resolution image. Through adversarial training, the generator learns to reconstruct realistic textures and details that were lost in the low-resolution input. GNs can be used for style transfer, transforming paintings into realistic images, and vice versa. Given two unpaired datasets, each contains one style of images. Cycle GN is a groundbreaking unsupervised image-to-image -image translation framework that allows for high-quality transformations between domains without paired data. By ensuring cycle consistency and adversarial training, it achieves realistic and meaningful modifications in images, making it a powerful tool for artistic style transfer. The TOB more specific, Cycle GN consists of two generators and two discriminators, forming a cycle-consistent adversarial process. Let's say we have two domains X and Y. One generator is to convert an image from domain X to domain Y, while the other is to convert an image from domain Y back to domain X. One discriminator distinguishes between real images from domain Y and fake images generated for domain Y, while the other discriminator distinguishes between real images from domain X and fake images generated for domain X. Therefore, two GNs are trained at the same time. To align these two GNs, cycle consistency loss is added. The key concept of cycle consistency is that the transformation should be invertible, meaning if we convert an image from domain X to domain Y and then back to domain X, it should return to its original form. This cycle consistency ensures the transformation is meaningful. 
The picture illustrates some examples of style transfer using CycleGN. Before we conclude, let's briefly summarize what we've covered and highlight the key takeaways from this presentation. What is GN? Generative Adversarial Networks, or GNs, are a powerful deep learning framework used for generating high quality images and other types of data. The key idea behind GNs is adversarial training, where two neural networks, a generator and a discriminator, compete against each other. The generator tries to create realistic samples, while the discriminator attempts to distinguish between real and generated data. Through this continuous competition, both networks improve, leading to highly realistic outputs. GNs have revolutionized image generation, image-to-image -image translation, image super resolution, and style transfer, making them a fundamental tool in computer vision and AI-driven creativity. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next topic.